disappointing day in the end, but what was your take on things? Um, I thought we started very well. First half an hour, I thought uh, we were a good team, played well. And they uh, they come into it a little bit just before half time. Um, to concede that goal at that point was uh, bitterly disappointing. Um, second half, I thought it was poor. Weak. No good. Come was a complete contrast, but uh, after the way we started the game and we got going, and I thought we looked very confident, we looked positive, played some good stuff, and then um, yeah, it wasn't, that wasn't good enough. You made some big calls in team selection today. You promised some changes, and uh, there were some eyebrows raised for seeing Ryan Watson starting at right back today, and then uh, Joe Payne making his league debut at left back today. What was the thinking behind putting them in? Well, Joe Payne's a good player. <clears throat> He's a very good player. I um, don't know what's happened to him the last since I've been away, but uh, Joe was always going to be a decent player at this club. He was uh, he was really really good today for an hour. I thought he was the best player on our team in the first half. Um, full of quality tackles, heads it, committed, hundred percent. Don't go around blaming anybody else. Um, Good, you know, play well. He got a bit tired in the second half, which was bound to happen, which we knew it would happen. But uh, no, overall we done well. And with Ryan, I know that I knew they didn't play with a winger. I knew there was always going to be space for our fullbacks to play. And uh, I wanted Ryan to get on the ball and uh, start off our attacks with uh, quality from uh, his crossing, which has definitely got an abundance, and also from his set play delivery. But that wasn't to be today. Was a uh... I suppose there's a few positives to take from the game today, but one of them being the goal for Cole Thurst, the goal he's been waiting a long time for. It's nearly 20 games without a goal for him today, so that's something to take, in, take into consideration. Yeah, that is a positive. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Uh, still bitterly disappointed, to be honest. You know, I, I asked the players to give everything they've got right through to the very end of every game. And then, uh, come what may, me and the supporters will always be happy, whatever happens. But uh, I don't think we got that in the second half. I thought it was weak, disappointing, and um, people just doing what they all wanted to do. And you know, we've worked hard on the training pitch, putting stuff together. And as we saw the other day, that work pays off. And uh, they kept going right to the very end the other day. And uh, today we didn't. How do you go about correcting that now? Mm, you get back on the training pitch, get in the classroom and show them the video and show them the bits that you didn't think were very good, things that uh, need to get better. But, um, you know, I think we've got five games to go. And um, as I just said to the players, the supporters have turned up in their numbers. And uh, I think the supporters will keep going right to the very end. And uh, I will. I, I, I don't quit. They'll have to get um, uh, back in the classroom, back on the training pitch, and, and do your stuff. It was a very, very disappointing second half. It was a good first half. I thought they'd blow well. We have to work on and think about the positives as well, and um, and move on to the next game. Do you look at the teams around you? Do you look at how they've got on today as well? The, the results went in your favour favour today, which has given you a, more of a chance and another positive to take, perhaps. I'll be absolutely 100% honest, I have absolutely no interest in what anyone else ever, ever does. And all these escapes I've had at other football clubs and at this club, it's simply one and only about us. How we play, how we prepare, how we cope and manage with the pressure that's coming our way. I knew from the, uh, from the six games we probably had to win four and draw one and we could take one defeat. And here we are. Going into next week's weekend's game, you get a crunch game against Forest Green Rovers. How is what you've seen here today, how does that affect your thinking going into that game? Well, at the moment, as you can imagine, I'm pretty uh, upset. Um, 
I think every supporter knows that uh, I always ask them to give everything, with and without the ball. Uh, we tried to play some good football, and some of it was okay, but you can't just play nice football around the centre circle without penetration. And if you don't put passes behind defenders, then Akinde can't play, it's not worth having him out there. And uh, it was all fancy football, fantasy football, uh, and you've got to have penetration, you've got people willing to get in behind and run in behind and drive in behind. And the second half, it's too easy for them. Crosses were going in the box, too deep, too deep, far up the pitch, easy for their defenders. And they've had an easy second half, whereas it should have been. After the first half we had, we should have been better. We should have got ahead.